Hi guys, in this tutorial I'm going to show you how to enable always on display that is AOD in Realme XT on Android 10 running Realme user interface version 1.0. Okay, so this is my Realme XT device and I have Android version 10 installed on this and also Realme user interface version 1.0. Okay, so let me show you first. So let me open my settings app. Okay, and then let me scroll down to about phone. Okay. So here is the about phone. Let me tap on this. Okay. And you can see guys, I have this Realme XT device and I have Android version 10 installed on this and also Realme user interface version 1.0. Okay. So let me go back. Let me uh, close the uh, settings app. Okay. So guys, so what is always on display? Okay. So when you enable this feature, you can display information such as clock and date even when your smartphone screen is off okay so it is just like a screensaver okay guys and also you can enable this feature only on smartphones that has uh, amoled display okay so this is you know realme xt device and this device has a super amoled display okay so we can enable this feature on this smartphone easily okay so let's start so first of all you have to open this settings app okay so let me open my settings app okay and then guys you have to scroll down to this display and brightness and then tap on it okay so let me tap on this display and brightness okay and after that uh, you have to you know scroll down and here we have this screen off display okay so just tap on this screen off display you can see display the clock when the screen is off okay so let me tap on this screen off display okay so here we have the screen off clock and here we have the you know slider uh, next to this okay this toggle so here we have little message let's read that the screen off clock is not displayed uh, if the battery level is lower than 10 percent okay and the phone is not connected to a, a power charger okay guys so currently you can see uh, it is off so let me tap on this switcher okay next to this screen of clock okay so let me tap on this and you can see it's now enabled okay and here we have this schedule time it is also enabled okay so when you want to you know schedule this you can use this feature okay you can like set the start time over here like you know hours uh, minutes okay and after you're done just tap on this start okay and it will be set in the same way you can you know set this end time okay so just tap on this and you will get other options like you know hours minutes you can set it okay and after you're done just tap on this end okay so i don't want to enable this feature is schedule time so let me turn off this by tapping on this switcher you can see it is now turned off okay and here we have the screen of contents okay so here we have you know clock you can see different clock styles are supported okay so you can see we have you know enabled this feature okay so just tap on this clock in order to find out you know other clocks okay like you know analog or digital so let me tap on this okay and you can see here we have you know digital and analog option okay so under digital you can see we have you know various options okay so suppose if i want to you know set this one i need to tap on this and you can see it is now selected okay in the same way i can go to this analog and i can select from here okay so suppose if i want this one i need to tap on this okay you can see this is now selected and after you done just tap on this save this button okay but i want to select from digital so let me tap on this digital tab okay and let me select this one option okay and after after that guys you need to tap on this save button so let me tap on this save button and it's now done okay and here we have the date option okay so you can see it is also enabled so let me tap on this date and you can see we have this pop-up and we have other options like you know we have two options like display uh, gregorian calendar this option is currently selected and we have other option like display gregorian and lunar calendars okay so i want to you know enable this only this default one so let me tap on this okay and here we have the battery so it is also enabled okay so let me tap on this and you can see uh, it is disabled okay but i want to enable this so let me tap on this switcher 
and you can see it is now enabled okay and here we have the notifications it is also on so let me tap on this notifications and you can see uh, we have this screen opened uh, display app icons in a screen of notifications okay so currently i have this enabled all okay you can see we have you know all you know my apps over here okay so i want to enable this for all okay so let me go back okay and guys here we have the last one this option mantra okay you can see can be customized okay so let me tell you one thing that if you enable this feature uh, other options will be turned off okay so let me show you so let me tap on this switcher next to this mantra okay and you can see guys other options are turned off okay so you can customize it so let me tap on this mantra and you can see we can customize this okay so let me tap on this and you can see uh, we can you know use our text okay uh, so suppose if i want to use this success i can write that and i need to tap on this okay this link okay so let me tap on this because i want to show you you can see i have this text okay and i can choose from color also you can see we have you know other options okay so suppose if i want this color I need to tap on this and you can see it is now selected okay and here we have the alignment you can set you know the alignment okay you can see and if i scroll down you can see here we have the font you can change the font okay so let me tap on this because i want to show you you can see we have various other fonts okay so suppose if i want to select this one a gilroy light i need to tap on this and you can see it is now selected okay and here we have the font size you can change that okay by using this you know slider okay you can see and after you're done just tap on this save this you know button okay so let me tap on this save button and you can see it is now you know done okay so when your screen will go off your mantra will be shown up there okay so i don't want to use this feature so let me turn off this so let me tap on this switcher okay it is now turned off okay let me turn on this screen off clock so let me tap on this switcher okay you can see it is enabled i don't want to use this schedule time feature so let me turn off this okay okay so i want to use you know clock a uh, date a uh, battery notifications okay so when your screen will turn off you will have all these uh, contents on your screen okay so i'm using you know screen sharing app so this software has limitations okay so let me make one video and show you over there okay okay guys so here is my realme xt smartphone okay and you can see its screen is off and you can see the contents uh, like clock uh, date and battery percentage okay so the app icon is not showing because i don't have any notifications okay so that's it guys in this way you can easily enable always on display that is aod in realme xt on android 10 running realme user interface version 1.0 so thanks for watching if you like my videos please support this channel by subscribing to it thanks bye bye